are very meticulous, said a source at one of the main uh, banks. Mm, tax payments are now falling due at around Christmas time. Remember, the big holiday there is still to come. It's New Year's. Uh, this uh, Gurdjieff, the uh, the renegade, I guess, he says, I can imagine that for a while they will use these capital control-like measures without full-blown capital controls. But if depreciation continues, they may actually do this. Well, if they do, they will begin to smile broadly when they see the beneficial uh, results. So... Um, this is the course uh, which Russia may take. This faction around Medvedev, Kudrin, Kasyanov, and so forth, they must be defeated. Uh, and instead, this other group, the Glaziev group, needs to uh, affirm its, um, its uh, supremacy and actually implement this stuff. Now, let's get back to the Greek uh, case. We know, thanks to La Stampa of Turin and other sources, there were, there were already under-the-table negotiations between Tsipras and Syriza on the one side and the powers of finance capital on the other. Finance capital here represented by Merkel and Schäuble. Merkel, the chancellor of Germany, Schäuble, the finance minister. These are the austerity ghouls. It's amazing. They remember 1923. That was bad. They can't seem to remember 1929. And 1929 was worse. Because 1929 brought you Hitler within four years, something that 1923 hyperinflation did not do. So hyperinflation is not as bad as super deflation. And that's what we're facing now, with no effective demand. This other guy's name, Jörg Asmussen. J-O umlaut, or sometimes J-O-E-R-G, Jörg Asmussen, A-S-M-U-S-E-N. I believe he is currently the um, labor minister of Germany, so he's, he's uh, accustomed to duping uh, working people. So he's representing Draghi of the European Central Bank, Merkel or Schäuble, the, uh, the money bags German government, and Moscovici. Uh, the, the financier uh, contact man for the European Commission in Brussels. So they're negotiating. That's wise. Notice, you're going to hear a lot of stuff. Syriza wants to leave the euro. Syriza is anti-Europe. Syriza wants the Grexit, the Greek exit. No, it's a lie, as La Stampa of Turin repeats, nobody but nobody in any position of power in Syriza has ever said they want to leave the euro. No. They say they want to have a London debt conference. This is the conference we've talked about it before. In the early 1950s, when, for the benefit of Germany and other defeated powers, there was a haircut that the German debts, this ravaged and destroyed country, was going to get a debt holiday, a debt uh, reduction, writing off a certain large amount of the debts. So that's what Syriza wants. They say, get rid of half of our debts. Give them a real haircut. And I would say, again, you should shed the derivatives uh, before you do anything else, because that's the, the main source. So anybody who says that this is about the breakup of the euro is a liar, most likely on the British payroll, because, of course, the biggest enemy of the euro is the pound, the city of London. Anybody can see that. But, of course, our stupid libertarians, right, our cretinous uh, anti-euro, of course, they're the, the horsemen of the apocalypse with 666. What a lot of malarkey. Uh, this is, a lot of this stuff, again, is fomented by the British or by the dollar, of course, by the Federal Reserve. But it's simply nonsense. The, 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 now, there's a very important point, because Syriza always adamant they want to stay in the euro and reform from the inside. The people who want to quit the euro are the right-wing racist reactionaries, people like alternatives for Germany. In the last European election, the whole thing, the whole campaign of the uh, alternatives to Germany was kick out the wogs, right? Kick out the Greeks, right? German term, kanaken. 
So kick out the Southerners, kick out the Southeasterners even more, Greece, I guess. Kick out the Balkan peoples uh, and, and get back to Europe. Well, that's ridiculous. So, um, again, the people who want to quit the Euro are the reactionaries, right? They're the fakers. And you, there's also going to be an attempt to say, well, there's a rising tide of populism in Europe, and it goes from alternatives for Germany to Marine Le Pen to this Farage garbage, whatever his name is. Uh, no, no. As Tsipras has said, those right-wing populists are not the enemies of the system. They're not alternatives to the system. They are the reserve army of the system. They are the guts of the system defense. So don't mix it up. This is totally different. And I think also uh, to the extent that the Russian foreign ministry has been thinking, I guess, or concluding that uh, right-wing racist populists uh, might be somebody they can work with, they're going to see, no, you're going to be dragged back by an actual government, a Serviza government, Orthodox country, will tend to drag Russia back uh, from this idiotic location with the pen and uh, uh, Farage. So, back in a minute. Uh, welcome to the second hour of World Crisis Radio. It is, once again, our 12th night edition and epiphany coming up the 6th of january and we're looking forward to a world mass strike uh triggered in particular by the victory of syriza and cyprus in greece on the 25th of january some of you may be here taking that course we mentioned you will be hearing about that um but that's the idea but of course a mass strike solves nothing Leadership is needed. Who's going to intervene? Who's going to provide a program? Who's going to push aside the mushheads, the Occupy freaks who say, no, we don't want to have a program because we might win our demands and get co-opted. So what we have to do, though, now is pick up on our friend, Reverend Edward Pinkney. Let me just say, before we go into our guest, Daniela Wall's uh, contribution here, um, we attempted for this program to call the uh, facility there in uh, in uh, uh, Michigan, Jackson, uh, Illinois, uh, in Jackson, Michigan, uh, and we attempted to set up an interview with Reverend Pinckney, who does apparently have the right to uh, a, a strictly limited but nevertheless uh, existent um, communication with the outside world. We talked, or better yet. Genesis Communications Network, and I thank them for this, Gen Genesis Communications Network in the form of the distinguished uh, producer of this show, uh, talked to the warden, attempted to explain the problem of a radio station, uh, which has to have a schedule, and couldn't Reverend Pinkney please be available at a specific time tonight? Oh, no, said the warden, uh, we can't just set up a time like that you sort of have to leave it open it sounds like they expect that if he pinkney gets the call that we have to be ready to answer him just about at any time which we will try to do but you can see what the uh, what the difficulties uh, are it's obvious an, an attempt to sabotage the uh, the connections of uh, the communications of reverend pinkney with the outside world but we have Fortunately, Daniela Waltz, who has talked with Reverend Pinkney quite a few times, I think more than anybody except for his wife, uh, in the time that uh, Pinkney has been incarcerated. So let's, uh, let's go to Daniela and get, uh, get an update. Welcome, Daniela. Hi, Webster. That's a real shame that you couldn't get through to Pinkney because more than anything, he wants to be on your show. And I know he was looking forward to that. If they're not going to make an appointment with you, then that means that he can only call out one call a day between 3 and 10 minutes. So I don't know how we're going to work this out, but I'm going to speak for him today. Um, so let's get into this. Now's the time we should be most active, and I stress the need for international action to publicize this case more than we ever have. Now is the time to fight. If you believe that on December 15th, Pinkney's case was decided, or the sentence was final, it is not. If you find yourself somehow in a place of mourning instead of fighting, then you are misguided right now. Pinkney's final sentence is not until <clears throat> is not until January 15th. So now is the time to fight. Governments should protest to the United States, 
call in their U.S. ambassador and say, we protest what you are doing. You are violating the Helsinki Accords of 1975. You are violating the OSCE civil rights provisions. Reverend Pinky is on the United Nations radar. He met with the United Nations, if you remember, their officials a few months back. Reverend Pinkney is an internationally recognized spokesperson for this Michigan anti-austerity movement. At this time, we must make sure that the name of Berrien County is never idle on Google even for a day. This goes to, this is the same for Twitter, for hashtag Berrien County, hashtag Michigan, and hashtag Free Pinkney. No matter where you are or how, how small your town is, I guarantee you that there is a radical journalist in your area who wants to write an article about Reverend Pinckney. Report to me on Facebook, Daniela G. Walls, or at taxwallstreetparty at gmail.com about what articles you get. This way I can have activists make positive comments on your article and share it. Make sure we're also trying to catalog all articles for Banco. Make sure you as an individual have commented on all existing Pinckney articles. If the article happens to be a hit piece like the one that was written by the Heritage Foundation, we've said in other episodes they're bringing out their big guns against Pinckney, and that says a lot, then reprimand their conclusions appropriately in keeping with your conscience. And if it is a positive article, thank the journalist appropriately. Make sure you have commented yourself on each existing article and uh, fight to get your own. Uh, from Prison Pinkney has renewed his appeal to all of you to keep up the activism. Pinkney appeals to all people of goodwill to take up this case, pursue it, publicize it, complain, bring it to people's attention, word of mouth, Twitter, social media, protesting, phone calls, write a letter to Reverend Pinkney and tell him what you are doing and have done. Imagine yourself in solitary in a jail cell. He wants action reports from active individuals, for example. An action report would be something like, my name is and your state location uh, so far, and then you would write something like, so far I have organized with my local name, the activist collective, spoke about and passed out flyers describing your case or the case of Free Pinkney. I have gotten articles in XYZ newspapers. I have organized X amount of donations to bhbanko.org. I have gotten this far with my foreign embassy, et cetera. Tell Pinkney what you have done. These are action reports. He is alone, like I said, in a cell and cut off from communication and needs action reports from you. The address to write to Reverend Pinkney will be posted at freepinkney.wordpress.com and at bhbanko.org, but I'll give it just once. Edward Pinkney is the first line, E-D-W-A-R-D, -E Pinckney. Second line, prisoner number, so number sign, prisoner number 294-671, 294-671. Next line, G, period, Roberts, R-O-B-E-R-T-S, Cotton, C-O-T-T-O-N, Reception Center. Next line, 3855 Cooper Street. 3855 Cooper Street, C-O-O-P-E-R. Next line, Jackson, comma, Michigan, J-A-C-K-S-O-N, comma, Michigan, 49201. Reverend Pinkley appeals to you. He makes it this special New Year's Eve Christmas holiday epiphany appeal to you. Jay Witten from our Russian local reports that important Russian journalists that are close to the Russian Foreign Ministry and Foreign Minister Lavrov are being briefed. They are interested in the case. Stay tuned next week. I will have more information on how our work in Russia is shaping up. We have about half the states mobilized, connected with their local civil rights and other interested local activist organizations, drawing parallels between their communities and the case of Reverend Pinckney to use Free Pinckney as an example of what might happen in their community and state while mobilizing to help Pinckney now. I need to go through a calendar of the case. Judge Chirac and the prosecutor, Mike Sepik, have not yet responded to our sentencing brief. Pinkney's final sentence, where Judge Chirac has the power to throw out the sentencing or ask for a retrial, is on January 15th. This will be decided by Chirac, who has tremendous discretion in matters before the court, including sentences. Sentencing, sorry. <clears throat> sentencing, our lawyers have uh, their job, but we have to consider our role as activists. It is important now whether Chirac considers Reverend Pinckney to be a bigger threat in prison or out. If the international spotlight is on Berrien County, 
with critical articles and press about Berrien County. Then by January 15th, Judge Chirac may have to say to himself, this is not only, 